Welcome to this Blender video tutorial. In the last video, and there should be a link to that first video in the description at the bottom of this YouTube video, um, we learned how to, um, to make a cube uh, move and steer using the arrow keys. Um, so in this video, we're going to turn the cube into, uh, into a little car. Um, so I'm going to change back into the default mode. So that's clicking up on here and going on default. Um, it will still work as our game. If we press P, it will still move. Uh, but we're going to change the cube to make it into a little car instead. Okay, so with the cube selected, so you right click to select in Blender, as in if you've got something else selected, you need to right click on your cube. Uh, we're going to go and add a modifier. So you need to hover your mouse um, over these buttons, and if you can see the spanner, click on it. If you can't see uh, the spanner, just move your mouse over these buttons and scroll um, your mouse wheel up and down until you see the spanner. And we want to add a modifier. The one we want is subdivision surface. And that just smooths the cube until it looks a bit more spherical. Um, and we're going to turn the subdivisions up so it's a little bit smoother. We're also going to click on the left hand side of your screen. Uh, we're going to press smooth. If you can't see these buttons, um, press T on your keyboard and it will show or hide them. Um, OK, so we've got a fairly smooth sphere now. On your keyboard, um, next to Q, you'll have the tab button. It looks like two arrows, one on top of the other. If you press that, you'll toggle between edit mode and object mode. Um, so we want to be in edit mode. And we're going to change the cube until it looks a little bit more like a car. Um, OK, so I want you to press Control and R, the letter R, and then move your mouse over um, your cube until it's kind of got a purple line that goes horizontally um, and then click like that. Um, then move your mouse um, up and down until the line is roughly about halfway and then left click again. Um, and we're going to use this to turn it into our car. So we're going to pull out the bonnet here, we're going to pull out the boot here and we're going to add some wheels um, on the side. Okay, so next thing I want you to hold down the control button that's CTRL and press tab at the same time and go into face select mode um, and then each of the parts of your cube will have a little dot on it and if you right click on them you should be able to select them. With um, the front bit selected, so that's um, like I've got here, um, I want you to press E on your keyboard and then let go and you should be able to drag out the bonnet of the car um, and then click when you're happy. I'll do the same with the back, so pushing the mouse wheel in um, and then right click to select this back bit press E to extrude um, and that's going to be our car just here. Um, so uh, this is going to make up most of the, um, the car. What we're going to add in just now um, is, uh, is the wheels. So I'll press shift and A and add a cube um, and I want to make this cube a bit smaller so I'm going to press S and move the mouse towards the middle. Um, so the cube is currently inside the car. If I press Z you'll be able to toggle between seeing the edges or seeing just kind of the wireframe mode. Um, so with wireframe mode selected, you can kind of click and drag on the, um, the arrows until the cube is where you'd want one of the wheels to be. Um, so it doesn't look much like a wheel at the moment. We're going to squish it in the green direction. So I'm going to press S for scale. And the green line is um, the y-axis for me, so I'm going to press Y and squidge it in like that. So I've got one wheel. I want to duplicate that across, so that's Shift and D, and I'm going to move that over here. And I want to add um, some more wheels the other side. So holding down Shift and right-clicking on the other wheel, and then pressing Control and L to select all of the linked faces so that both wheels are now selected. Um, we should be able to duplicate those across. So duplicate is Shift and D, drag them across over here. Um, and it looks like my wheels aren't completely lined up, so right click on one, Control L to get them all selected, and we can just kind of move them into the right sort of place. This one's um, not far in enough, so let's get the wheel selected. Might have to do this in wireframe mode. There we go, Control L, and then I'll drag that out a little bit. Okay, so we've got the car. doesn't look um, uh, particularly pretty at the moment, so we're going to change the colour. If you find the thing that looks like a radioactive symbol, that's the Materials tab, click on that one. You can change the Diffuse colour um, to whatever colour you want your car to be. And then hopefully when you press P, um, your little car should move around in 3D. 
Um, so feel free to, instead of making a car, make whatever you want, a dinosaur, a snowman, um, whatever, uh, and then try and make it move and make it into your own little game. Thanks for watching.